All right, we're moving right now to breaking news coming in regarding developments in Karnataka and a curious connection to developments in Uttar Pradesh with a government advisor, Kanchan Gupta. He's the senior advisor to the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. He's taken to Twitter to attack the Congress government and the Congress party. He said his, he said Imran Pratapkari's proximity to gangsters Atik Bhai and Ashraf Sahib is well known. It's a relationship that goes back in time. Just a little side context here. You'll remember that the Congress had announced that Imran Pratapkari would be one of their star campaigners for the upcoming elections in Karnataka. Pratapkari is a Rajya Sabha MP for the Congress. He is also a poet of some acclaim and is known for a lot of the speeches he's given in the Rajya Sabha. Now, in his post, Kanchan Gupta has also said, here is Pratapkari boasting that the notorious gangsters came home for dinner what does this say of the Congress? Now, our political editor, Maria Shakil is actually with us right now to bring us more context. Maria, one of the more important details and the more important context to give our audiences here is, of course, that Atik Ahmed was a politician too. Is it in that context that Pratap Gari was seen in multiple occasions meeting him? Yes. So, yes, he was a politician, a gangster who turned politician. He was a six-time MLA. You cannot take that fact away from him. But because it's poll season, uh, and Imran Patab Gadi, who is the head of uh, Congress Party's uh, minority department or minority cell, will be campaigning in uh, the state of Karnataka. That is the reason why it is being repeatedly uh, highlighted. And also because Afiq Ahmed was convicted, he had 100 cases against him. Uh, the Congress Party's association with Afiq Ahmed is being highlighted by the government's advisor and also was done by the BJP in the press conference. In fact, several videos of Imran Pratap Gadi sharing the dais with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, Atik Ahmed has also come out in the public domain, where Imran Pratap Gadi can be seen addressing Atik Ahmed as almost like his father figure. Hmm. So I think as far as Congress Party's position is concerned, they'll have to come and defend or explain as to what is the association that Imran Pratap Gadi, uh, who is now a position holder, at that time maybe he did not, uh, he was uh, uh, just a poet at, uh, mm. in those days when he could have got these pictures clicked. But uh, because it is BJP versus Congress that is playing out in Karnataka, uh, BJP is seeking an explanation to come directly from the Congress leadership as okay. to what kind of association did uh, Imran Sathapgari, which presently the Congress uh, media, uh, uh, Congress uh, minority department has held have with Atik Ahmad. But Mara, could I ask you, as you pointed out, he has been um, an MLA multiple times. He is a politician of some repute and a lot of influence in parts of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, by that regard and by that yardstick, would there possibly also be a lot of media where he's seen with BJP leaders, for example? Uh, not. It, that, that's really uh, something that will not be there because Atik Ahmad's association had largely been with the BSP and the Samajwadi Party. Mm. So as far as the BJP is concerned or their association with Atik Ahmed is concerned, that's completely unlikely. Now coming to the question of whether he was a leader of repute. No, he was not a leader of repute. He was a gangster who was given political legitimacy, as is the case in uh, several states of India. Um, of course, uh, he uh, was popular, but uh, that popular or influence was also because of his clout that he enjoyed. And also that clout could have been the reason because he ran a mafia empire. He was mm -hmm. a mafia. So you cannot take away the fact that he was a don who was running an empire of sorts, which was completely done away with. He had several cases and number of these cases were filed or registered against him even when he was an MLA and uh, then he went on to become a member of parliament. So you cannot take away the crime or charge, uh, charge sheet that he had against him. He's a history sheeter. He was a history sheeter. Is also a fact. Right, with but more I than 100 cases. When, uh, yes, our political editor, Maria Shakil, joining us. Uh, Maria, thank you for bringing us that context. I want to walk our audiences now through some of the political reactions that have come in. This is BJP spokesperson Shahzad Punawala with his response. Take a look. Congress ka haath hamesha atik ashraf jaise apradhi atankwadi mafia pravritti ke loon ke saath raha hai. Iska ek aur praman saamne nikal kar aya hai jab Sachin Pilot ko to star campaigner list mein jage nahi milti Congress ke. Par Imran Pratap Gadi jo atik aur ashraf ko apna guru maanta hai. Jo unke liye kaside gaata hai. Jo manch se aur social media se unki prashansa karta hai. Unhe bhai bolta hai. 
ऐसे व्यक्ति को स्टार प्रचारक बनाया जा रहा है क्योंकि कांग्रेस पार्टी ने हमेशा इस प्रकार की प्रवृत्ति के लोगों को बढ़ावा दिया है टुडे कांग्रेस इज अपॉइंटेड इमरान प्रताप गरी एज स्टार कैंपेनर एंड बीजेपी सेइंग दैट ही इज क्लोज एड ऑफ अतिक अहमद एंड दे आर डूइंग दिस इन ऑर्डर टू अप हिज माइनॉरिटी इमरान प्रताप गरी इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ आवर माइनॉरिटी सेल एंड ही विल बी कमिंग व्हाट इज रॉन्ग इन दैट he 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 uh, we are not saying that someone who is coming who is under that uh, uh, some who had committed some crime who is behind the bars we are not doing that but people who are asking about the star campaigners can they answer that why jatin prasad why rpn singh why jyotiraditya sindhya because they took they, they are self acclaimed star campaigners इलेक्शन सेट टू टेक प्लेस इन कर्नाटका और मे टेंथ द बीजेपी वर्सेज द कांग्रेस द बीजेपी इज ऑफ कोर्स गुड टू हैव अ टफ बैटल इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम इट्स टाइम राइट नाउ